Are you having a bad day? Perhaps a bad month? Maybe a bad year? Well, don't worry about it, because after December 21st, things are bound not to get any worse. That's because of what may be contained in the ancient Mayan prophecies. According to the Mayan calendar, the world comes to an end in two weeks. In fact, archaeologists who've been working in Guatemala claimed they found more proof that prediction earlier this year. These 1,300-year-old panels are the second known reference to the end of the Mayan calendar. Now, some archaeologists say it has more to do with political history than prophecy, but Mayan scholar and professor David Stewart says it's much more significant than that. So is the end of the world near? Well, let's ask Rob McConnell. He's the host of the syndicated X-Zone radio show. Rob, will December 21st be a red-letter day? or just the Friday before Christmas? It's just going to be the Friday before Christmas. Phew. Yeah, I, I, I know, I know. I've been hearing that a lot these days. But the, the, the entire thing is, is that the Mayans themselves have said, wait a minute, we never said it was going to be the end of the world. It's just the end of a cycle. It's just as if, Mark, we had a round circle of the year 2012 divided into 12 months. And as the calendar came to December the 31st, that's the end of that calendar. Except in the case of the Mayans, it was much longer than that, much more in depth. The, the Mayans were star watchers because it depended on the weather, about their crops, their, their, everything their life was surrounded by the stars. But as I said, Mark, the world is not coming to an end on December the 21st. Good, we'll quote you on that. <laughs> yes, okay. you can. So, Rob, maybe you yes. can explain, now you, you shared this information with, with our viewers and with Mark and myself, mm -hmm. explain how the rest of the world has gotten this so, so terribly wrong. Well, you know, it's, it's a matter of timing. It was the uh, Harold Camping a couple of years ago came up with a prediction that the world was going to come to an end, and that date didn't, didn't happen. He said, well, I may have gotten it wrong. But when you look back in history, there have been over 280 end-of-the-world predictions and as you can tell we're all here they haven't happened what happens is it seems that we ourselves as a society come to an end in a cycle when you look at the galactic alignment that is fact that is going to be happening on December the 21st when you look at the apocalypse the apocalyptic prophecies that are out there the Mayan calendar ending and it was totally misunderstood instead of saying it was the end of the cycle Terence McKenna, who was one of the biggest proponents for the end of the world based on the Mayan calendar, and by the way, he loved his psychedelic drugs, came up, <laughs> yeah, and, and this is where it came from, and the New Age genre picked it up and ran with it, and it was totally yeah. spread over the world by the internet. Uh, Rob, you, you have done extensive research here. You traveled to yep. Mexico, you traveled to Guatemala earlier this year to talk to some of the descendants of the Mayan uh, civilization, and you've already expressed some of those to us, but what else did they tell you about uh, their civil the, the civilization that they were under, and, and what's their opinion of this idea that the rest of the world thinks the world's going to end because of your calendar? Well, for one thing, the Mayan civilization is well and doing fine. They're not extinct. There are over 1.5 million Mayans living in that part of the world. The Mayan and, Riviera we've heard of before. Well, of course, and of course the, the Yucatan. Um, the Mayans themselves were and still are a very competitive group. One city would build a pyramid. The next city over would look and say, we want to build a bigger pyramid. And this mm. was very common within the Mayan culture. When you talk to the Mayan uh, people about the end of the world prophecy and what is going on based on the the assumption that their calendar is coming to an end, they laugh. They said, we never said that. <laughs> it is totally made up, and it's the end of a cycle. And once this cycle is come to an end, we have a brand new cycle that starts. It's that plain, it's that simple. Have you got a copy of that calendar, by chance? <laughs> yes, I do. We picked one up. Oh, did, did, seriously? Seriously. Seriously. Uh, what does it oh, tell us? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, it's the same thing as the one that ended. It's, you see, the Mayan calendar is also a Mayan almanac. The information is very, is very, very precise. And the entire thing that, that the main mystery here that everyone is missing out is how did the Mayans come up with December the 21st, 2012, on their own calendar as the galactic alignment? That is the true mystery. And that is a question no one has, has been able to answer yet. 
that plus the caramel mystery, I guess, are the two biggest in the world. Rob, so so now let's let's have a little fun with this. Sure. Now. So you've been to, you've talked to a lot of people who, uh, even if they believe the end of the world mm -hmm. is near and there's a possibility, they've planned for it. They've they've selected the the, the meals that they're going yes. to have on December 21st. They're going to uh, whatever music or yep. whatever uh, entertainment they want. So can we have some fun with this? Or what like what songs should we be playing on December 21st in case the world ends? All right, the number ten that I would play is the end by the Beatles. Uh, we have uh, The End of the World as we know it by R.E.M. You have The End by Doors. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and the list goes on. In fact, during our 26-hour broadcast that we're going to be doing live starting at 11 o'clock on Thursday the 20th, going right through until uh, December the 22nd at 1 o'clock in the morning to make sure we cover both sides of 20, uh, 2012, 20, December 21st. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be playing some of these songs. We're also going to be sharing the top 10 end of the world recipes. Uh, and, and the list goes on. <laughs> and Rob, can I ask you something? Uh, because I just realized what we failed to mention is, and, and well, I haven't heard yet, how is the, end, the world supposed to end, by the way? Well, you know what? This, this is, this is another does, bonus. Of course. Yeah, of course. But how uh, is it supposed to end? We've all talked about ending. Sure. What was, what's supposed to happen? Well, you've got the people who believe that it's going to come in contact with the famed and fabled planet of Nibiru. You have people who believe that the galactic alignment is going to cause a reverse in the electromagnetic field and cause all sorts of chaos as well as flooding, earthquakes, oh, no. and other natural no, disasters. Bad. Of course not. Um, let me see some of the other ways uh, the planet is going to get struck by a comet or an asteroid. Now, to show you how serious... We only have about 20 seconds, okay, Rob. To show you how serious this is, NASA actually had a webinar, and uh, they, they fielded all these questions, and even the, the sure. officials are saying, you don't have anything to worry about. Okay. Good. All right. uh, we feel much better now. Yeah. Rob McConnell is the host of the syndicated uh, X-Zone radio show, Rob Thanks so much for clearing this up. We feel a heck of a lot better. And if we don't see you, happy holidays. Uh, Merry Christmas. Uh, Merry December 21st. Have a great broadcast. Happy New Thank Year 2013. Happy end of the world. Yes. Thanks very Thanks, much, Rob. Mark. Thank you.